Hey guys, today I'm gonna make a video about which climates of the world I find to be the most interesting. It's a little bit different than usual, but it's still weather related. So, here I'm, here you got where I live. New Jersey, just south of New York City, just east of Philadelphia. In the middle of the state. My first stop is going to be actually out west in California. Los Angeles. Like, this is a place I've always found to always be sunny, but it's going to be kind of cloudy this week. This week's kind of an exception. Not that warm this week, either. Here's Jakarta, but I'm going to get to that later in the video. This is weatherspark.com, by the way. Website I, I like to use a lot. See? Christmas Day, the coldest day of the year. 67 degrees. Which is pretty nice. Considering you're at the same latitude as Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, which is about 56 in the winter. But it's also a little bit warmer in the summer in Myrtle Beach and in L.A. See, um, Perth, Australia, Port Elizabeth, South Africa, and Safi, Safi, Morocco. Hey, according to this thing, it is clear 80% of the time in, um, the summer. So from June to October, at least 60% of the time it's clear. Less than 10% of the time it's cloudy. Very little chances of rain. No humidity. Whatever. Come on. problem here. I'd like to show you um, Alaska now. Or Anchorage. I'll show you this on windy.com because I find it interesting that what kind of winds and like rain and temperatures they get. Well, actually, I'm gonna um, talk about um, India right now since I got it pulled up here. So, you look at these temperatures, it's gonna be like 110 degrees or something. It's insane for most of the world. I'm going to this little corner of India. It's only 17 degrees. Here it's 104. I got Nagpur, Madurai, Hyderabad, Ahmedabad.
Here, look at these temperatures. 113 on April 16th in Monterey, Tamil Nadu, India. That's insanely hot. Take a look what it isn't like in February in Monterey. Sorry if I like mispronounce anything. Either. It's also going to be in the hundreds in New Delhi. See here, 100 degrees in February. That's insanely hot. On the other end of the stick, let's look at Anchorage, Alaska. It's very cold. However, in some parts of Alaska have already been in this around 70 degrees, which proves that climate change is disastrous. Here, take a look at October. You know, just imagine it only being 31 degrees as a high temperature on Halloween, or even 28 degrees. That's cold. Well, it's only in the 40s and 30s in, the, in October there. So yeah, for fun, I would just come on here sometimes, and it would just be insanely windy. Well, take a look at northern Alaska. I was watching the news the other morning. Al Roker was up in Barrow. Negatives. It's only in the teens, and it's April. But these are only in the morning lows. These aren't like the actual highs. And then these windstorms that always come around. I always find this interesting. See? Look at that. 60 mile an hour winds all winter long in western Alaska.
I would imagine that gets old after a while. Let me take a look at this. 50s, 30s. Here, now I want to talk about Indonesia. You just might not find this one interesting, but I find it interesting for a couple of reasons. Like, first, like, um, you might know, like, most of your, like, clothes and stuff are made there. So I always found that interesting. I find it interesting how winter coats and stuff are made in Vietnam and Indonesia where it's hot and then you're supposed to wear them where it's cold. Like, I find that really interesting. Or how you get, like, sweaters from Bangladesh. Because, um, you might notice, but there's a trade war going on between the United States and China, and mm -hmm. a lot of things are being outsourced from China to Vietnam, Indonesia, India, Bangladesh, and them countries. So I just wanted to, like, know the, the weather for that. See, they're like, they get like good thunderstorms every day. I've seen videos of it, it's incredible. You're like, here, you got some cells over Java. Just north of Bandung, just south of Jakarta. By the way, Jakarta just opened a new um, subway, but I'll talk about that in another video. Which I do find interesting because I want to save the environment. And that's good for the environment, having subways. But again, it'll be for another video. The place is... Very close to the equator, so it's going to be warm just about all the time. Mm -hmm. Take a look at Yangon, Myanmar, 100 degrees already like in the afternoon. Uh, 90s and in, in um, Thailand and Vietnam. Just find that intriguing for some reason. And I know most people probably don't care, but I mean, for me being a weather geek like that, it just really interests me. It's gonna freeze. Something else I find interesting, this isn't weather, but like about the sunrise and sunset of cities around the world. I'll take a look at Oslo, Norway. Let's look at this city. F free, before four in the morning, it's light out. Ten o'clock at night, the sun is shining. I've had the sun shining on me at 9.30 in Alaska, but not like 10. See, it stays light all through the night, which is what it did in Alaska. It was light, like, all through the night. It only got, like, partially dark. Sun angle's only about 54 degrees, which is about where it is where I live around late March, around now. Early April, today's April 2nd, so, like, right around now. So, it's 
daylight from 2 a.m. to 12 a.m. pretty much. Let's look at December. See that? 9 a.m. It could be dark out. 8 a.m. It could be pitch dark out. That's insane to think about. I've only seen... I've only seen the high north in the summer, not in the winter. So I'd like to see it in the winter one day, too. Again, 4.30, it could be dark out. Sun only gets to about 7 degrees above the horizon at that time of the year. See, three, just after 3 o'clock, sun sets. Just under 13 hours difference through the year. Alright, I hope you enjoyed what, what's making me, um interested in weather, like what places and things I find interesting about it, so yeah, like, subscribe, whatever, and I'm gonna start making, probably start making elevator videos pretty soon, till then, see you next time, bye.